Mr. Beanie Smargy, let's talk first of all about what is happening here in London. Um, you are the chairman of SOCGEN. You are looking at the situation here in London. Is what is happening with British politics in any way changing your plans as you foresee capital markets, how you position people, what you do with your bank uh, here in London? Well, we are in a relatively uh, privileged position because we are both in London and in the continent, in Paris in particular. So we have the flexibility to uh, eventually move people rapidly. So we are in a wait and see mood, uh, just uh, as we have been over the last three years, uh, waiting for the British political system to take a decision um, and eventually even ready to wait some more, uh, so, so a, few, a few more weeks or months if needed. Uh, but at a certain point, some decision has to be taken because uh, the whole uh, you know, business model of banks is evolving and we need to have a clear decision where the financial center will be in Europe uh, over the next few years. So when do you think that decision will be made? It looks like now that the Brexit process may be extended into the beginning of this year, into the beginning of next year. When do you have to make a decision? No, we don't have to, to make a decision. I think that uh, it's better to have a good decision, a clear decision, than just no decision. So uh, hopefully this is, would be the last uh, uh, postponement. And I think what's important is not only to have a decision, but also to be clear on what kind of relationship there will be after a Brexit or a no Brexit. But if there is a Brexit, to have a, a clear relationship and a friendly relationship uh, between the European Union and, and Great Britain. I think the worst would be to have really a divergence uh, as is starting to look uh, under the auspices of the, the new prime minister who indicated that you know, uh, mutual recognition and uh, uh, convergence uh, on certain regulatory re issues would, uh, would be much, uh, much weaker under his, uh, his government. And this would be a threat for, for, for the financial system, I think, in Europe. Lorenzo, you're a former executive board member of the ECB. The financial markets are currently expecting, call it circa 16 basis points of cuts. They're expecting, if you look at BTPs, uh, some sort of QE. They're expecting maybe some sort of tiering to be happening. Are the markets expecting too much, do you think, from the ECB on the 12th? Well, I think, I think the key decision is, uh, will there be a, a big package or will there be uh, the beginning of a package and the rest may be uh, announced or pre-announced and the implementation will take place maybe later, uh, depending on how these uncertainties about Brexit, the trade war and other issues uh, uh, will develop. So I think the issue is one package or the beginning of a package. Um, you know, the, 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 this will be the discussions um, between uh, the doves and the hawks, I would say, uh, next week in, in, in Frankfurt. Which one do you expect? Which one do you think is more likely to happen? Because the hawks have been very vocal over the last few days. Well, I, my impression is that uh, if there is just the beginning of a package, I think Mario Draghi will have to make it very clear uh, in the press conference that uh, the rest is going to happen. And uh, it's not going to be, the, the change in presidency at ECB is not going to, to affect the, uh, the pattern and the intervention. Uh, uh, so the impact of the overall package, even the, if they do one piece, uh, they, uh, they have to make clear to the markets that they, more is going to come, and uh, especially if yep. we will see a hard Brexit and we'll see a worsening of the economy. Just one final quick question on your Italy. Uh, it looks like we are going to get a government. Uh, it, it is going to be between the PD and Five Star. It looks like Mr Conte is going to be the new leader of that. Is that going to be good for investors, and how stable do you think it's going to be? Well, uh, certainly uh, the market's reaction shows that some of the fears that the previous government had, uh, had created, in particular with respect to the, 
belonging to the euro, debt restructuring, the instability, all this is slowly disappearing. Uh, this government certainly is pro-European uh, and uh, wants to, do, to work together with the new European Commission. Now, the issue is uh, what's keeping the two parties together? Uh, is it only the fear of having uh, Salvini back? Or do they really have a program that they want to implement that will change things uh, in, in Italy, in particular, that will uh, try to re-engineer growth? I think that's the big question. My impression is that it will last uh, longer than some people expect, because uh, uh, the parliamentarians uh, don't want to go home uh, that quickly. I think they want to try and work together. Uh, if there is no big shock uh, in the economy, if they have time to work together, this government may last uh, uh, a couple of years. Uh, the, uh, the objective is to try to get to the election of the new president of the Republic, which will be in uh, early 2022. So uh, that's, that's the next uh, expectation, I think, uh, and the, the target for those who want the government to remain stable.